Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel I document my own print on demand journey. Today I'd like to show you how you can integrate your Zazzle store into Google Analytics. Now it took me a while to find this actually because um, it is not as straightforward as on TeePublic or Redbubble. So what you have to do because you can have several stores on Zazzle, if you have several ones you need to enable Google Analytics for each store individually and you have to go into your store go to settings of your store and then have to go to advanced settings which takes you to this menu and what you then have to do is enable Google Analytics yeah so that is what you have to do and you can click on what's what's this and they will explain you everything um, Google Analytics is a service provided by Google for analyzing traffic on your website now that is highly um, informative and very useful for every print on demand store owner because you will have an understanding of where the people that find your store come from yeah so that is quite useful to know if they come from google or if they come from the zazzle page if you do any marketing or advertising it would be useful to know what kind of how many of these people come actually from the social media page that you did adverts on and all sorts of things so let's go back here and i will enable this and then click submit so my settings have now been updated, but what I have to do, I have to get this Google Analytics code and you can only get that from Google Analytics itself. Okay, and when you're on your Google Analytics page, so if you don't have an account, you have to create one. Um, I won't show you this now because I already have an account, but um, yeah, it's very straightforward. Just go to analytics.google.com and just create an account. Or if you have a Google account, you can just open a Google Analytics account straight away and link it to your Google account. Now on your Google Analytics, what you have to do down here, you go to admin. And when you go to admin, you can click on create property, which then will take you to the next page. And what you have to do, you have assign a property name. So with property name, that is just the name of, um, let's say the page that you want to track. For example, in this case, Sazzle. Um, I never do anything with this, so you could add your time zone or whatever and wherever if that is not correct, but it's okay for me. Show advanced options. That is critical, so you have to create a universal analytics property. This is important for um, for Zazzle, and because I'm on Zazzle UK, whatever, I, I don't know if it makes a difference, but I'll just, because my store is on zazzle.co.uk, I type that website in. And then I will select only create a universal analytics property and then I click next. Now I have to tell them about my company, arts and entertainment, I would say small business. And I want to know, and it doesn't really matter what you add in here, but um, measure data and then click create. What you now get is this UA code here, which I have to copy. And then I go back to my Zazzle store and here on my Zazzle store I just paste in this code and then I hit submit and then it will be linked. So the settings have now been updated. What I will then be able to do on my Google Analytics account, I will be able to understand where does all my, um, where do my, tra where does my traffic come from, um, who are the people who uh, come to my store, if I have done any advertising on some social media pages, I will get an understanding of which social media platform the traffic comes from, also from which country and all sorts of things. So it is very useful for every website owner, but also for every print on demand shop owner. Now, I won't see anything now because it's just starting to track really. So what I will have to do, probably come back in a week or so, and then I will get a first picture and then I will also do an update video on that. Okay, so I've just linked my Zazzle store, my main Zazzle store to Google Analytics and um, hopefully that video was useful for you. If you want to um, link your store to Google Analytics as well, if it was useful, please smash the like button and if you want to follow me on my print on demand journey, subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.